Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Will Homer, Psycho Goldfish, and Zinzinix. <laughs> And the sound of thunder. Very <laughs> <Carry> lightning. <laughs> Once a year we get the Halloween times coming and it's time to be spooky and scary. And we get to come on the show and improvise Halloween intros that we didn't plan in advance. Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Woo! We did it! Hello. We got through the intro. Took took a long yeah. time, but we got we got the show started, folks. We're here. Yes. We're 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 here. We're hungry. We want candy, bubblegum and taffy. Uh, wait, that's MCP pants. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you yeah. the kinds of people that try to get candy like on November first when it's on clearance, or do you actually go and like try to be in the spirit and do it on the day? Oh, I, I've already got like four bags of candy I pre-bought just so I can sit here like a fat slob. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad I can't go out. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I wait until someone else buys candy to pass out and then I just eat that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just going to be hard to rob kids this year. It's all about that November 1st candy clearance sweep. I'm going to be going like like freaking shopping cart sweep, putting everything in the shopping cart and bringing it home. Why would oh, you yeah. do that? Why would you do that it's... to yourself, man? Because then you're like, you have to eat it once you get all that home. And it's like, there's bags of candy that you now like <laughs> exclusively have to eat. That's... <laughs> That's do you so actually cool. get through it all though? Because like, I, I always find we have candy and then we find it like six months later and it's like sugary crystallization going on. It's terrible. Yeah, real talk, that is most likely what's going to happen if I actually do that. It's just going to be a lot of <laughs> pantry stuffing. Uh, and speaking of stuffing shit, we've actually got some very special guests with us today, so uh, why don't we get our guests to introduce themselves? Yeah. Are we going to do them one by one? Yeah. Okay, good. I don't know who they are. They just kind of walked in, so we got to gotta hear for the first time. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> we have a caller. Hi. Hi, I'm Gary. And I'm from Wisconsin. Hi. Gary. Hey, welcome to the show, Gary. Uh, hey, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I don't, I guess I'll start off with this. I don't like telling a lot of people about this, but I'm a vampire, like from Wisconsin. You'd be surprised how many vampires are from Wisconsin. Um, I am surprised. Yeah. I Ooh. mean, what else do you want to know? A lot um, of, I think I have a lot of questions now. There's, there's a lot yeah. of questions, but let, let's introduce our, our second guest or have them introduce themselves rather. We have a lot of guests. Who's next? Hello. I see a bunch of creepy people in here. I need to know. <laughs> I am the purple imposter. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude. <been> done before. <laughs> you guys may know me from the Among Us jam. You guys did a lot of animations about me. I really don't appreciate it. Are you sure you didn't like any of them? Were there any that you liked? No, because you guys made me look like an asshole. <laughs> and I'm a really good guy. I just love oh. stabbing people in the head, but you made that me doesn't... look like I'm a dick. <laughs> Is that normal where you come from? What planet you come from? First of all, you're not even human, right? What are you? What are you? How dare you say that I'm not a human? <laughs> We're all aliens in our own in our own right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what this, really this is, is human? True. He's kind of turning right. it back on us. Like, what does it really exactly. mean? Exactly. Wow. Damn. See, you're a good guy, Will. I won't stab you now. Okay, thank you. Or will <laughs> See, I? All you gotta do is all you gotta do is feed into his bullshit, and he's not gonna stab you yet. That's good. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just wait until you try to fix wires. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Stay away from wires your entire life now, Will. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn That's it. right. Just not allowed to be an electrician. So I'm noticing behind you, there seems to be some sort of henchman. Who is that back there? I am Igor. I assist the great Dr. Frankenstein. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh my god, so... he's famous. Like the real Igor? Are you the real Igor from the movies and all like the, the stories and stuff? Actually, only the reboots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you're like a knockoff Igor. You're like the B movie, like back of blockbuster Igor that nobody's seen before. Exactly. Nobody <laughs> wants to see Igor. The original Igor is off in a vacation in the Bahamas. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so does Frank uh, have you have you working this Halloween, Igor? Or do you do you get any time off? Uh, mostly, 
outside of Halloween. <laughs> I like to get Christmas off. And weekends is, is, is pretty good. I, I could see I could see Dr. Frankenstein being really big on Christmas. Just decorating his lab and all the little orbs of lightning. But I like all... it when he, he, he stuffs my stocking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How old are you, Igor? <laughs> I am 35. Holy shit, I'm so sorry. I mean, no offense. <laughs> I was wondering, does, does Dr. Frankenstein have a, like a, a benefits program for his employees? Or Yes. For every organ we donate, he punches our card. When we donate 10 organs, we get a free frozen yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> How many That's... organs do you have left in your body? At least. <laughs> <laughs> At least. At least two. <laughs> At least two. Okay. We got it. We did it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Oh, God. Uh. Folks, this is going to be a fun time. We have three weirdo ass guests today. <laughs> All right. Pur 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 purple imposter, quick question. On, on your home planet, do you guys celebrate Halloween? We celebrate an event that's sort of like Halloween, except we just stab each other constantly <laughs> all day until we bleed candy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Candy, jelly beans. Is this how you guys reproduce? You could say that. I did just say that. Yeah, he just said that. He I can't give that. away my planet secrets that easily. You have to come and get them. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things I could ask right now, but frankly, we're on the subject of uh, like imposter reproduction and sex, and yeah. it's gonna be hard for me to get off of this right now. No, yeah, and or get off from it. <laughs> no, it's gonna be easy. That's that, that part. See, that's the easy part. Sounds like you want to get off from it. <laughs> we got a bunch of fucking weirdos on right now. We got a vampire, which I want to ask. I want to ask: Is vampire? Do you have to work out, or do you just stay like you just stay like buff? Are you like? Uh, are you? I mean, I don't have to work out too much because. My metabol even though my metabolism is kind of low, like everything in my body is kind of half dead, you know? Hmm. I, just, just like the rest of Wisconsin, yes. Yeah, yeah. At least there's a good cheese, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How many vampires are there in Wisconsin? And is it related to why there's always holes in cheese? Oh, that's oh. a good question. I've never thought about that. Um, there's, there's like a small pocket of communities in Wisconsin that are vampire, like only people. Uh, but if you wouldn't know if you just came into our village, because we act pretty normal, there's a lot of uh, the myths and legacies about vampires. Those were like the Renaissance era vampires. They were still trying to, uh, they were just trying to figure out their way in life, um, trying to figure out their spirituality and getting that all straightened out. But everything's more or less normal now. I guess it's kind of weird, but not. Sounds pretty normal, actually, just kind of living their lives and not really doing much vampire, like, sexy, romantic stuff. Is that yeah. mean being stereotypical or, like, racist to think vampires have to be sexy and, like, romantic and, like, bleh? I mean, yeah, but we can like it. We like the attention. But we, but we know <laughs> that if we try to give ourselves too much attention, we'd, like, take over the world the wrong way. We want to take it over with good vibes and, you know, just <laughs> spreading the good cheer of cheeriness. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein did experiments on vampires, but had to stop because of too much glitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why we're it. half dead. I knew it. Like, that's ha why we're half dead is half of our blood cells turned into straight glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Twilight is accurate? Are you saying that Twilight is actually the most accurate vampire movie? I don't sparkle in the sunlight. I mean, if you, fly, if you shine the flashlight through our heads of dark, it's less red and more sparkly. Okay. It kind of glistens like snow. I like the snow. Jesus, vampires are like human <laughs> arts and crafts. That's beautiful. <laughs> Again, we're really big on spirituality here. Yeah, how many drugs do you do, vampire? Well, do you... I like to stay away from drugs because, like, they don't work. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> but, but, but we do it's try true. to, like, because, like, you know, there's the whole myth about, like, vampires, they need human blood, right? I'm in a special community of vegan vampires so that means like we eat lamb's blood or at least we try to okay yeah 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 so very again vegan. like twilight it's a very still like twilight okay. but like we have the motto of like we don't eat 
like we don't eat humans we eat what humans eat so it makes it really convenient when we go to like a mediterranean you know like i, I could just get a euro and like a side of lamb's blood it almost works <laughs> <laughs> sounds strangely delicious do you hang out with humans? Is that is that fair? Like, are you friends with humans? Do you they like to you? interact with them? You gotta fly sometimes for a special work project with our Russian counterparts. They're really nuts, though. They're the reason why vodka exists is because of them. The Russians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you should be my best friend. <laughs> I feel oh like, yeah. I feel like we would get along. Yeah, I think we'd be great. So wait, can you go out in the sunlight? I don't understand. I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like right. I said, he sparkles. We we don't really sparkle that much. We don't sparkle too much. Jesus, we've got that under control. Yeah, let's hang out, but let's not invite the the purple guy. If you know what I'm saying, let's just yeah. leave him out of this. Seems you better watch your back the next time you download something. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you know, okay, Five, I gotta say, pur four, purple and three, <laughs> two, broken neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's his life Guess motto. you're not gonna finish your download, are you, bud? My neck is one of the organs I've donated. How much have you donated? Uh, my neck. I have no neck to break. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. From your voice, I was probably guessing the neck wasn't much of the equation there. You know, okay. Purple imposter, I gotta say that while you really want us to believe you're a very nice guy, you sound like a bit of a dick, if I'm being honest. See, and that's how you painted me in that animation jam. I really just want to hang out with the bros, crack a cold one on a Saturday on Halloween, but it just seems like nobody wants to be my friend. Uh, you know, maybe it would help if you did some more nice things, like actually show people that you can be a nice guy and a positive. Like, what are some nice things that you have done for the crewmates on the ship? What, y you guys don't think that stabbing someone in the back is a nice thing? In my planet, we, uh, I mean, not on my planet, on, on planet Earth. Uh -huh. uh, it, being stabbed in the back is, is a sign that you love someone. Don't you agree? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna pass. Then we so. can be friends. Come meet me in the comms room. Oh, God. <laughs> I got candy. <laughs> well, now that you said you got candy. Valentine's Day is really confusing now because you want to show your loved one you love them, but I feel like now you're obligated to snap their neck or stab them. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, because, like, like in America, we try to accept everyone's customs. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I get where you're coming from. It's not fair to be left out. You know, exactly. I can stab someone. You know, and just see how it feels. You know, not a big deal. One of the best ways to show love and affection is to take your 40 caliber and just shove that bullet deep inside their head. Oh, that's uh, so romantic. Exactly. <laughs> Don't use the gun. Use the bullet. Just shove it deep inside their skull. <laughs> oh my God, you're like a living Halloween. <laughs> Jesus, I'm, I'm a good say... guy. I swear. <laughs> that's what they all say. I want to say it's just hard to hang out with you, Purple Imposter, because because then all the vents in my house are gonna get broken into. I can't download anything. I can't fix any wires. I can't swipe a card through anything. I can't play numbers games. I can't even do Simon Says. That's not, you know what I mean? Without without expecting something from you. And it's like, you don't even do none of those. You don't even know how to do a task. That's I feel like that's just rough. unfair. No, I do. I know how to turn and turn off lights. Turn <laughs> you know, <laughs> Igor is really good at tasks. I wonder if we put these two together, if maybe we could get some sort of intern program going for purple. I agree. We could have some amazing collaboration. I could help Igor harvest those organs he needs. See, here we go. We got a good job placement program going on. I here. love teamwork. Yeah. See? One step closer <laughs> to your free frozen yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I I Igor, what's your go-to yogurt, by the way? Mm, I love the strawberry yogurt, especially with the fresh strawberries. Okay, now, you, now I'm, start, I'm, I'm starting to like you less than purple. Yeah, but it has to be non-dairy. I'm lactose intolerant. Igor, I know this might not be something you can share with us, but if Franken's not listening right now, just give us a little hint. What's he working on right now? What's the next big project he's bubbling up? Well, you didn't hear this from me, but he's attempting to add two extra legs onto a dog so he can tap dance better. Oh, dang. <laughs> 
That guy's always Why solving the like, world's biggest problems. Is he going to be adding tap dancing into their brain, or is he just going to be making them sort of have more legs and then just seeing how they skitter around the house and stuff? Well, he's actually gotten the dogs from a special island where they specialize in tap dancing. So as you see, eh, the training is not necessary. Uh, such is the brilliance of Dr. Frankenstein. Being around all these smarter people than me, we got we got the vampire who's literally seen everything. We got Igor, who knows experimentation as well as a lot of biology. And then we have the purple imposter whose customs are different from ours, but he's still very accepting of us as people. I know. So I feel like we are the late, least intelligent here, man. I just want to say that. Or maybe I should have always been feeling like this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, no, yeah. The least intelligent, the most closed off, and the most kind of like not down to clown. You know what I mean? I feel like if we let you guys hang out with us more often, we might actually have a little bit more fun around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a good time. Just remember, it's more not all about like intelligence. hanging around the better. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. I get such interesting vibes from it. The more people I get to hang around, the more experiments I can make. <laughs> You're going to be in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Halloween miracle. We just brought three strangers together. I feel accomplished today. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Purple Imposter, let me throw a classic dating game question at you. If you were going to take me on a very romantic date, all the way from the beginning to the end, what would it be? <laughs> hmm, that's a good question. I'd say first we start in the cafeteria. You know, <laughs> have ourselves a little pre-made dinner. Then Aww. I'll take you into admin, and then I'll help you swipe your card. And Ooh. then the lights will go out. So then we'll go to an electric room to fix the lights. And then just when things are starting to feel most romantic, yeah. I'll stab you in your throat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> mm, slip it in. Wow. Man, I'm really doing a good job of making sure this is romantic in my head. I'm imagining it as romantic and positive as possible. Oh, don't worry. But, I would hold your hand the entire time. Oh, that's so <laughs> nice. Oh, man, that sounds... And then I'll stroke your hair as you bleed out. It'll be so romantic. Oh, I love this. I love everything about this. I'm having such a good time right now. Oh, <laughs> that's all I want from you, Will, is just to have a good time in Me hell. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's great. Wow. How am I doing, guys? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Talk about new experiences. Jeez, I always wanted something new in my life like that. I love you, I thought purple imposter. I love you too, Zen. Whatever this love thing is. <laughs> I don't really have a heart. So it's <laughs> it's just a not. black hole. It's a black hole. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. now we are getting kinky. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> some NSFW for you, Zen. Um, That's your favorite. Purple. I yeah, heard it is you're my accustomed to NSFW. Why is that my thing now? Why is that? <laughs> Why is everyone like, yeah, Zid's with the NSFW. I am. I'm down with NSFW, much like Com Compton is down with Compton. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we got an audience question for the Purple Imposter. What do you do to a house that doesn't give you good candy? And also, do you even eat candy? I eat candy, but I prefer drinking blood. Mm -hmm. And I guess it goes hand in hand. If you don't give me candy... Or blood, I will take it from you. Wow, we have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, you you get mad when people don't give you candy too? Well, kind no, of. No, I just want to take it from them. I'm evil, remember? I was talking to the vampire. Yeah, I don't get too mad because I like to keep that in check. Some vampires do, and it gets really horrifying. But when you're on a date and you're expecting candy or blood, I feel like it's kind. you kind of have to follow through. Otherwise, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sucking ourselves? <laughs> vampire, uh, they, they get the question. We got a question for you, Vampire. Do you poop? Yeah. That's why we have <laughs> toilets. Oh, I'm sorry. Does, 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 does the yeah. poop glitter? Does the poop glitter? We have to know. Does it glitter? If it does, we need to get checked out by a vampire doctor. Especially oh, okay. if it happens three nights in a row. It's a bad sign. Yeah. <laughs> There's glitter in my blood, in my poop, in my stool. Could Not be a good. sign that you're about to die. Glitter <laughs> poop. My favorite vampire experiments were the stool samples. <laughs> Man, I gotta hang out with you more often. I got so much I could impart knowledge on you and learn from you, I think. 
Mm, yes, <laughs> give it all to me. Maybe not that fast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I Igor. There's another slow. question that we got to. Well, I'm going to paraphrase because, um, as all literature nerds know, Frankenstein is the doctor's name, not the monster's name. You guys got a nickname for the monster? What do you guys call him around the office? There are some who call him Tim. Tim? <laughs> <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. The monster is Tim. So Frankenstein is the doctor. Tim, Tim is the monster. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really partial to just letting them do the rest of the show, man. I'm, <laughs> right? I like them. They have such good banter. I mean, I like the rapport did, they have with each other. Yeah. I was gonna say, screw the audience questions. Do you guys have questions for each other? I wonder how many vampire Igor has run into. Well, because I, I bet I've known a few of them. We like we to have keep literature about them. vampire traps outside the lair. We, 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 we pulse lights that attract their glitter. So I'd say eh, around sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> Wait, hey, traps. Hey, he's gonna be putting up vampire traps. Vampire, how do you feel about that? That doesn't sound like good for you or anything. It's in the European area. They handle things a little differently over there. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I've always so found the European vampires interesting. You're so understanding. I love you. Hey, I when you live you. to be 120 years, it like. Life changes. Igor, a lot of people are asking if you're Irish, and I think it has a little bit to do with your voice. Is there any Irish blood in there at all? I actually, I have no idea. The good Dr. Frankenstein found me in an orphanage. Oh, that's nice. Why were you in an orphanage? Probably because my mother found me to hideous. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. That's so sad. I didn't know you had a sad backstory. It's okay. Yeah. I think of it now as my defining feature. It it's what I lead with when I do go on online dates. <laughs> Hit me up on Tinder. Igor, do you have a, a successful sex life? Like are you a dating man? Or did you donate that organ already? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to move on to the next question, please. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, fair that's enough. a little personal, guys. Come on. Everyone's <laughs> got to have their own, like, personal private space. Yeah, sorry, Purple that's my bad. I didn't toilets. mean to ask anything too personal. That's on me. Purple Imposter, you got to have some questions, man. You're, you're literally the odd one out here from... Well, I mean, I guess we're all aliens, but you're, like, actually, like... I, I actually have one question for Imposter that's been bugging me. Why are you the only one who knows how to work a goddamn vent? <laughs> I don't know. That question has haunted me for years. I don't understand why you guys hate it when I use the vent so much. You actually get a nice little airflow through there. So as I'm running around the ship trying to kill people, I get to cool down a little bit as I run through those vents. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pretty logical. Yeah, it's a very nice kill spot, man. I'll come hang out in there one time. Very breezy on the balls. All right. <laughs> Guys, I think it might soon be time to go to the next part of our Halloween special today. But I guess the last thing you guys know, we're the Newgrounds podcast. Uh, there's a guy named Tom Falp, who's the head of Newgrounds and who kind of oversees things. Is there anything you want to tell him as kind of the head of Newgrounds from where you guys come from? Yeah, I, I like his website a lot. I've posted some stuff on there before. But then they got banned because, like, apparently life-sucking blood songs don't work sometimes. So mm -hmm. I just I just kind of watch from the background. That's good. That's good. Purple? Yeah. You know what, Tom? Even though you did an animation jam about me and making me look like an asshole, I'd say you're a pretty cool dude. That's nice. Although from him, you don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I'm still wrapping my head around. Are you trying to get an invite to the next Pico Day? Is that what this is? Uh... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Special how about, guest. How, how about Igor? What do you got for Tom? Oh, oh, Tom. I like Tom. His website is amazing. And I'll I'll never forget the special donation he made to the lab by sending us uh, Josh Bend. <laughs> Josh Bend. <laughs> That's where he went. All right. I've been wondering well, <laughs> Mystery well, guys, set. thank you for coming and sharing a little bit of your culture with us today. I think we it's all learned pleasure. a lot. I think we all learned a lot of things maybe that we didn't want to know in the first place. 
But all in all, it's good to get you know, to know another culture and kind of see what everybody else is about. So I was hoping you might, all three of you guys, might uh, indulge us. I have on my person right now some music, some earth music, normal earth music. And <laughs> I kind of was wondering if we could share it with you, kind of so you know what kind of music we enjoy, you know? That's fair. Yes, I'd love this to. is going to be... I'm tired of organ music around the lab. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate because yeah. I think at least one of these has organ somewhere in it. But uh, yeah, I like to change it up a bit. But yeah, our rock has been pretty good lately. That's good. Yeah. So I sourced some good music for you guys. I want your takes on it. This is from uh, an interesting thing Newgrounds does called the Worst Song Contest. A lot of people entered into this contest. I'm going to play some for you. I'm going to play some for all of you guys, actually, and we'll see what we feel. I'm going to play just a random number in no particular order. Not all of them, just kind of whatever I felt like was interesting or funny and not just an hour of a clipping noise. <laughs> all right. You guys excited for this? I have a lot. And you might recognize the uh, people, not you vampires and Igors and purples and stuff, but you guys, uh, Zen and Josh, you might recognize some of the people who contributed parts of the worst I'm song. I'm so content. glad I haven't donated my ears yet. <laughs> <laughs> we all <Yet>. are. <laughs> This is a uh, goodwill. I'm going to stab you. Oh, thanks. I'm yeah. Oh, thanks. I love so it so much when you say that. I keep loving it so much every single time. Man, the love vibes is weird with this guy. So I have a song I want to play for you guys, and I'm just gonna keep rolling after these. This one is from a guy named Spadzer, and the song the is called. Is... Yeah. I don't know. It's a guy we've never heard of. I'm sure none of you guys have heard of him either. But this song is going to be called "Inner Peace at the Workplace." Uh, just so you know. You can talk over these. I don't. They're not going to be upset if you just kind of like let it play. So just uh, let's see okay. how it goes. I oh. gotcha. And if any of us feel like we just want to not hear anymore, just say we get it, we get it, and then I'll stop it and we'll go to the next one. Is, is that the is that the safe word? <laughs> That's the safe word. We get it. Okay, <laughs> we get it. Yeah. Uh, here's Phaser's thing. I'm turning that Ooh, down. Okay. I, I gotta rough. move my headphones oh, okay, away from you. my ears a little bit. <laughs> All right. Yep, yep. Ooh. We get it. Oh, it sounds like the engine breaking down. <laughs> this is my jam. <laughs> Somebody go fix lower engine. Oh, we, should, we, should be, we should be timing these to see how far we can get through most of them. Because that was I pretty know, short. The answer is going to be a, little, a small amount for all of these. <laughs> You'd be surprised how much it sounds like some 1915s cars. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see. David Elfin, WTF am I doing? Got MP3. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I kind of like this, I'm not going to lie. I it this. sounds like the, the, the lair on Taco Tuesday. It's a weird hummingbird, I think. It's like bees are serenading me. That was it. It was yeah. like 20 seconds long. I like that. that. I was bobbing my head pretty good to that. Me too. So dubstep does work as communication with aliens. This one is called Hood Classic Poggers. Ready for this? Oh, God. Oh, I've heard that. I'm just going to warn you guys, I'm going to turn it down when it comes, but the second half of this is just a giant block of waveform. It's all just clipping, so I'm going to make sure. <laughs> like, no, this we got to hear this. Part. What you're hearing is the easy part. We're waiting for the drop. Yeah. It's cool now. Yeah, this reminds me, I need to tour some electric, electronic concerts over here. Uh oh There's not a lot of them in Wisconsin. There's something I should try. This is a certified hood <laughs> <laughs> Okay, alright, alright. We get it. We get it. <laughs> I'm not into the music these kids play nowadays. Jesus. You guys have given me new ways to torture people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if this is like a 21st century joke that I don't understand. Quite don't worry, we well. don't understand either. Gotcha, okay. Hey, um, whatever makes your spiritual boat float, man. Thanks, I get bud. it. You know, you're a very good vibes, happy vampire, and I appreciate that from you. Yeah. I, I wish more of them were like you. Bombable.com, Jeff the Game, Lost Project Assets, MP3. That's quite a title. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one because I can sing along. Yeah, uh, I like the lyrics. Uh, uh, the lyrics are good. Uh, 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 u
That's gonna be in my head all day now. I know, right? The the chorus is wonderful. Oh my god. An interesting melody. Zakiga unholy matrimony dash vodka. Oh, this hurts. Is that oh. organ? Igor! Ah, I feel right at home! <laughs> <laughs> I feel so sorry for your home. Me too. Can you imagine playing a role-playing game and this is the overworld song? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be honest, hearing the keyboard mashing, I just gotta hear Henry going, Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we got that. Shark the Cyburn's best song ever, done in E3. I got paper in my wallet. Watch me harmonize. It reminds me of Zen. <laughs> That's exciting to say that. <laughs> I'm the best rapper <laughs> in the game. This is a jam. Watch me mix it. Glory. <laughs> Donated his vocal cords. <laughs> this just leaves me speechless. I have no idea <laughs> what I could say about this. <laughs> just, I'm astounded. Uh. You guys were saying that it reminds you of Zen, and I appreciate that, and I'm sure he does yes, too. Yes, I could hear Zen throughout that. Kanye <laughs> Zen. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either, but just let's just flow with it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this one's called Ambient Microwave Featuring Popcorn, and it's by Tebri Cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just recording a microwave! Hey, I've heard that song before. It plays in cafeteria all the time. <laughs> Always accompanied by the smell of bad curry. Mm -hmm. Oh, or fish. Yeah. Mm. My favorite is severely. I can't burnt believe nobody's popcorn. used a microwave before as a, a musical instrument. This is beautiful. I know. It's so it's abstract. It's like ASMR. I'm going to skip forward to where it gets louder. I bet there's so many types of different sound waves you could get out of a microwave that we just can't even perceive with our normal ears. It's just popcorn popping. Yeah, this is true art. Okay, yeah, it's etc. And then the popcorn gets made. Good job. <laughs> I kind of want popcorn brilliant. now. I'm loving it. I'm loving oh, this yeah. too. You guys, Vampires, Igor's Purples, you down for this? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Purple, how is it like to voice the Kool Aid Man in the commercials? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, that guy is my cousin, so it makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I never knew that. Wow. <laughs> Taste the chips. Smash hit. MP3. What's this knob do? Are you here to move? Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This reminds me of the machinery in the deepest part of the lab. I keep turning it down. It's at another. It's at minus twenty dB now. <laughs> Everybody who's listening live right now, thank you for bearing with the horrible noise uh, nonsense that you're hearing in the first couple seconds before I know how loud to play it. Alright. It That's sure is. It is. It sure is. Number one. Speaks number one on the church. Um, Jeff Beard, beat that MP3. What's this gonna be? Oh, you hear it? I hear some metronomes. Yes. That's not bad. Sounds like something you'd communicate with bat bats with? Yeah, echolocation. 
I would release this as a normal song. Oh, there's so much spiritual vibes coming off of this one. <laughs> I, I can really feel it here. Reminds me of when I went to see Niagara Falls. Oh, oh chimes, days. chimes. Th this, is, this is the part uh, where Michael Myers kills somebody. Yeah, exactly. It kind of sounds like someone is killing the guy who plays the Charlie Brown song. Schroeder? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, um, this is going to be a special one. I like playing this. This wasn't part of the official contest, but Twanix, who hosted the contest, sent me this personally. And this is going to be exclusive, never before heard, her own entry unofficially into the worst song contest. You ready for this? Ooh, Hit me. It's like when you turn your telescopes to uh, point at the northern galaxies. I think so too. Okay. There's gotta be some aliens out there that sound like this. Jesus you know Christ. That. Hang on, my brain melted. Hang on. Yeah, exactly. Understandable. Let, we, can, we can have a moment for you to come back. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Woo! Phonix uh, was nice enough to give us just a couple minutes of. Solid ear bleed, just the most solid ear bleed. Also, y'all in the chat, what the hell are you posting? I'm having trouble looking at it. <laughs> just saying. I was gonna say, I felt a little disturbed. I'm feeling a little disturbed too. Yeah, good. Be be nice, all right? <laughs> we have the worst yeah. song contest. We don't have to have the worst oh, chat room man. too. <laughs> Bait modified. Um, never mind. Dot MP3. A lot of kick drums in this one. Wow. Wow. Is that all Wilson? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 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 Interesting music. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Get down to that. I think my ears are starting to bleed. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so happy about that. Uh, Coquitlin 67 parody, oh no. Ooh, I like the beat. Ah! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, it was normal and then it wasn't. That wasn't the glitching, that was actually the song. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, alright. I, 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 oh, we get it. Oh, that was some good drum and bass. <laughs> That was groovy. That was, that let me down, because like half of it was kind of a fun, normal bop, and then it just went <laughs> How you guys doing? Are we getting tired of this yet? That was groovy. I might. No, like I said, you're giving me new ways to torture people, and I love it. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm really glad you do, man. This is, oh, LBG in from the uh, Deathmatch. This is called Bobby the Pantsless Violin Man. Here we go. Yeah. I can hear the pantsless. Yeah. This is something. It's kind of catchy, actually. I was going to say, even when he makes bad music, it's still kind of good. I find no fault with this. Uh, never mind. Yeah, that's just straight up computers. Oh, I like where it's going. And now all of a sudden I have no pants. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, sounds like I kind of want that to be my theme music. <laughs> I you can see candy. that plane as I'm running down the hall. We can gift that to you, Purple. That is now your official theme music. Albie, thank you for the bum-ass track, bro. <laughs> this is Moniker LaCroix. Oh. Oh. I 
can feel my booty dance! You look like Croy? Basic bitch! Fuck you! Fuck your disgusting kid! Fun fact, American. vampires glisten when they get chills! Bitch. <laughs> oh! This isn't bad at all! They must have misunderstood the rules of a contest! Coconut, Dang. Coconut, with a I love coconut. coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> This is Moniker, the song is called LaCroix. It's like actually a banger. Sugar bloats me, so I must drink LaCroix. Coca Cola is gross! Yeah, it sounds a little too harsh on himself. Even bad music is for me to Fuck you. Fuck your fucking LaCroix addiction. Hell yeah, dude. Like, I think it, I think it kind of trails off idealistically at the end there, but yeah, that was fun. I'm always, I'm always amazed at how humans are like more artistically creative than vampires. Like most of us are set in our ways. We don't really mm. like branch out. If you understand what I mean, if you get the feel I'm going for. That's it's a just lie, a Gary. Because you guys drink lamb's blood. Because we figured that out a hundred years ago. But you changed your own ways. Do you think this is ex inspiring you to be a little bit more open-ended and and kind of bring the art back to your other vampire Humans people? Humans just like throw stuff at the wall and they just see if it sticks. Yeah. You know? We don't do that. How do you know when your pasta is done? <laughs> from trials and experiences. <laughs> and from ancestors passing down their great recipes from the 10 BCs. <laughs> Hey, my stepdad has a question. Are there any vampires in the Green Bay Packers? Yeah, Rogers is for not, sure one. I know we're it. Not very athletic. <laughs> what was that, Purple Imposter? I said Aaron Rodgers is for sure one. There you go. That's the answer he was looking for, I think. Also, you know a lot about American football for a Purple Space Imposter. Who's your favorite team? The Green Bay Packers. Okay, there it is. That's how I know. Aaron yeah, Rodgers is too old and too offended to, to not be human. He has to be an alien or a vampire. Yes. He's sus. He's sus. We He's don't get sad. sports broadcasts in the lair. Oh. You don't get sports broadcasts in the lair, Igor? What do you guys get? Is there any TV at all? No, no TV. But sometimes I like to take the, the test rats out of their cages and put them on a track and watch them race. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you ever bet on it? Yeah, fun. No, it's only me. There's nobody to bet with. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta imagine some of those rats are on performance-enhancing drugs just being from the lab. Well, mm -hmm. of course. They're all on steroids. I feel like this is the most, like, I feel like this is the most, like, Howard Stern's shock jock radio episode we've ever done. <laughs> uh, in, uh, in that regard, here's a song by Geeky Yummy Takes. It call, it's called It Takes Farts. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, bodily function jokes. I gotcha. <laughs> I think it's all just that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do two more of these. This one's called... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look, it's fun, but like after a certain point, it all just kind of sounds the same, right? It's all just like, okay, more... more beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> This one is from somebody very, very close to us. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Oh, I've heard of this one. Yeah, when you guys invited me to be on the podcast, I made sure to watch the latest episode. That was, that was quite the experience. <laughs> it, it sure was something. That was something, all right. That was actually our very own from the last episode. We made it ourselves. Thank you, Zim, for <laughs> providing us a very good entry. Yeah, I'm glad I could suffer through that alone. <laughs> that <neither laughs> of you guys did that. Uh, I'm sure it was great. 
Uh, oh, Kawhi Sprite actually gave us one, or gave them one too. That like Lacroix gave one, I thought all. was Kawhi Sprite, but it was not. This one's called Kawhi Sprite. John Lennon would be proud of me. That's the name of the song. That's the name of the song was part of the title. All right. Here we go. Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. Bacon and cheese. Mm, bacon and cheese. Looks like they are square and the end really goes so well. Wow. Time to pray. Dear Jesus, give me bacon and cheese. I'm powerful. I got a beard. And I got hair on my ankles. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, it's not done yet. Hear this. It sounds like I'm just a guy. I'm so curious. Praise Jesus. It's fantastic. Praise Jesus. All right, Praise, Jesus. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Wow, that was it. Good job. That was I love fun. the ending. Vampires, Igors, Purples, that's Earth music. What do you guys think? It's a lot stranger than I thought it would be. I, I agree. It. It's certainly it's different strange. than the usual organ music I'm used to. I'm sure it was. I like it. I feel like Will owes them an apology, though, because only one of them's not from Earth. Like, you just threw them all in together as if... Just because they're weird, they're not from Earth. Like, that's kind of racist, dude. Ah, shit. Uh, really? Exactly. I'm sorry. Do I have to do an apology? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. At least um, one Oregon donation. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll figure that out with you separately. But, uh, Vampire... Man, you're interesting. Igor. Vampire, you... I'm sh you, Gary, right? Gary, yeah. Gary, I'm sorry I haven't called you that this whole time. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Gary, Purple I'm... Imposter, Igor, but the blockbuster back of the shelf, discount Igor. I am very sorry that I said uh, you guys were all vampires or aliens. You are all each individual beautiful creatures. Uh, Purple Imposter, I really hope to go on that date with you one day. And You're welcome. <laughs> I'm available next Friday night if you're down. Yeah, we'll hook up. We'll do it. Uh, and I'll, right, let me get your number after the show. Okay, well, uh, just so you know, there might be one of my organs missing by the time you get to it. Oh, that, that, that's okay, as long as that, you know, most valuable one is still there. You got it. My pancreas. It'll be there. All oh, the heart. Exactly. I'm really excited for Igor to get his frozen yogurt, so good Ooh. job, Will. Yeah, I can't thank wait. you. I, oh, man. Well, guys, you uh, sat through some questioning. You sat through some music. Is there anything else you want to say? Because uh, we're about to be going off and having having some Halloween yeah, you, fun you, today. You, got, you guys got got any products you want to push before we go off the air? Any plugs? Oh, we have a line of cologne that you'd be surprised. Um, it's called like Au Revoir Chevier. It's very Ooh. French. It's got a little smell of blood, but mostly spam. I mean, uh, um, flowers. <laughs> well, I'll plug something for you, too, actually. If you watch Twilight 3, the last and most popular one, Gary is in the background smoking a joint when they go to Wisconsin that one time. So watch that movie. Yeah, it's a CG joint, but yeah. <laughs> Imposter, you got anything you want to push? Yeah, you know, I am I started up this, you know, knife business with, like, you know, some of the sharpest, pointiest knives that you've ever seen. If you guys are interested, just uh, look them up. It's called dknives.com. Yeah, you can get a, a nice 12-pack of, you know, just steak knives, a butcher knife, all the knives that you could ever want to cut your meats and to, you know, stab that unsuspecting crewmate who's trying to fix reactor. Good stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. Igor, do you have, do you have a uh, website where people can donate their organs? Uh, we have no website, but you can always come down to the lab. We are always looking for fresh Vict. I, I mean, volunteers. Wonderful, wonderful. So Frankenstein's cool. lab, everybody. Just uh, make it a point to get down there. Make sure you wear a face mask, though. We are still in a pandemic. That's right. Not even Frankenstein can save you from big, bad COVID. Go face deadlier than me. <laughs> 
Just get yourself down to your nearest Frankenstein's lab. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Just if you go far enough down the street, you'll find a house. Go into the house, go downstairs, and he'll be right there waiting for you. All right? Frankenstein's lab is franchised in America. All right. Guys, my three wonderful guests today, thank you so much for being on the show. You made it. Thank you. Very memorable. Let's just say that. <laughs> well, guys, really it's Halloween. We're hanging out after this. We have like two hours of fun times, and we're watching Labyrinth. I can't wait. Everybody who's listening live right now, go ahead and join on in and uh, have fun with us after this. And uh, this episode sounds like a good enough time to plug our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a Patreon. It's NG Podcast. Go check it out. It's going to be funding other content creation. It goes straight back into the project. More art, more segments. And happy Halloween, everybody. Thank you for coming and joining us on this weirdest of days. All right? Happy Halloween. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. <laughs>